Boils and ghouls, good morning. The frost is on the ground. Ugh. We have ice. So that gives you a kind of little relevance of how cold it is. We're supposed to get snow tonight again. So we'll see what happens. Last night in my sickened state, I received a phone call uh, saying that the pictures that we took, uh, what, it's been what, two weeks now? Wow. Um, are ready for pickup. So I'm on my way now to go and pick up the pictures and it couldn't have come at a better time because I don't have any jobs today and that's not by choice. Oh, and you guys remember the washboard road. This used to be so awesome because it's just like totally washboard. This is uh, at the mall and they fixed it. I'm so sad. This used to be so bumpy right in there, but it's not anymore. Wow, I guess they're wanting to like ice down their uh, grass before it freezes. That's funny. I turned on the Christmas lights just a little bit early so I can make sure the trees come on because I won't be home when they're supposed to come on because we're headed to mom and dad's right now to try and get these pictures to them because of the weather. You know, who knows what, oh, sorry guys, I just knocked you upside the head, my bad. Because we don't know what the weather's gonna be like for the next couple days. And obviously it's safer to travel right now than it is to travel over ice. So we are traveling now. We're going to go to mother and daddy's house. I don't know what that was. That was kind of Arnold, but I, I don't know what that was. Key, remember when I used to do that? Show the key, show the clutch going down, show the shifting. I can't do that now. It's just, it's an automatic. It's boring now, but I can do more things with my hands as I'm driving down the road and I don't have to worry about shifting with my left hand anymore. Fueling up before you leave. Very important. Muy importante. I hate waiting for red lights because after you fill up, your average miles per gallon go way down very, very quickly. Very quickly. Idling bad. Urgh. Come on. Green light, green light, green light, green light, green light, green light. Zero miles per gallon. Woo! The fuel efficiency rocks. Ah, but once we move again, I like this part. This part rocks. Look at that. Five, six, five, eight. It's just like coming up. Yes. I think I've already said it. Uh, we're basically attempting to uh, outrun the weather. So I'm hoping that we can get there and back before uh, anything significant happens. So sit back, enjoy the ride, and um, let's get to mommy and daddy's house. I still call them my mommy and daddy. Don't make fun of me for that. They're great people, and they will always be my mommy and daddy. And here in a second, you're gonna be able to see the mighty Mount Rainier and all the foothills with all the snow. So there's the foothills with the snow, and Mount Rainier is right over, oh, you can't see it because of the clouds. Sorry, I lied. And this right here is why snowfall around us isn't all that common. Right here in Auburn as I drive, there's only 46 feet ele elevation here, so. That's why this part usually doesn't see a whole lot of lowland snow. Just want to document this. This is the best I've ever seen my fuel economy. But that's about ready to go to crap because <laughs> we've got a big hill to climb. And we are currently at 35 feet above sea level. About 32. Goodbye fuel economy. Hello hill. Hello elevation. And we're climbing. We're getting there. Here we are, we're at the top. Seattle area around five with the first few snowflakes and then more between eight and nine. Well, you guys heard that first, you heard it on the radio. So my parents have already gotten a little bit of snow out here. Not today, but uh, I think that's just kind of interesting. So I'm gonna go have a short visit and then take off, get out of here and turn my lights off. So the pictures have been divvied up. Look at that, Phoenix is under my thumb. Hey, <laughs> get it, he's under my thumb. Oh, that's so funny. Um, I just got word uh, from a friend that's in Lakewood that it's snowing in Lakewood. Oh boy, here we go. Let the fun times begin. It looks like a drawing. Okay, weird. Well, I will tell you something. If that's what that is, it's just a drawing that will not get you out of a, a ticket. That vehicle shouldn't be on the road. You don't have a license plate, sir. Oh, and here we go. Here's the beginning of the flakage. Probably can't even see it yet, but there are small little flakes starting to come down. This is not where we're stopping, but I had to film this because it really looks like off-rice e-pot. 
So apparently this is where you get your uh, your e-pot from if you're into that kind of thing. We're headed to Safeway so that we can get um, Phoenix's cake for next Wednesday, or Thursday rather, Wednesday, Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday, 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 Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm still sick, leave me alone. It's funny, everybody's trying to like hurry up and get their stuff before the big snow. And it's so interesting, they're calling this a snowstorm one to three inches, and they're calling it a snowstorm. Just blows my mind. I live here, and it's not a snowstorm. It's a little bit of snow. So this is the cake that Phoenix is gonna get. It's so awesome, I can't wait. We'll be picking this cake up later, obviously. So, I think everything's in place. Everything's in place for his birthday. Wow, that's crazy how like 20 minutes makes such a big difference, look at that. All right, and I'm laughing at this, but this is our big storm, guys! <laughs> you can see that we are starting to get a little accumulation on the sidewalk. Uh, still nothing on the roads yet. Some places like Alaska get like 64 feet of snow, and we're getting like one to three inches, and people are like, oh my gosh, shut down the school, stay off the roads, panic, panic, panic. When we finally kiss goodnight, how I'll hate going out. All right, guys, stay safe. Drive nicely. If you don't like driving in this stuff, don't drive in it or try not to. Oh, this is something to see. This year we have the most houses ever. We have one, two, and then we get into these uh, our duplexes next door. Oh, everybody doesn't have their lights on. But we've got all these guys here with their lights on. And then we've got my next door neighbors there. And then we've got my house. This is, oh, and they did something over there too. Wow, awesome, and look at the snow. There's snow on the ground. Snow. It's so pretty, look at that, Oh. I'm gonna to go to the bank, okay? You got that? While this stuff out here still comes down, it's going to do what we call accumulate, okay? I'm eating the bean burritos so that it can help with my sinuses. And when I get back, I'll film you playing in the snow. How's that sound? Does that sound good? You're supposed to speak. Does that sound good? Speak. That's your cue. Speak! Speak! <coughs> okay, you're just fired because you can't even get on cue. You wanna go outside and play in the snow? Speak! <coughs> Okay, well, we're getting better. Oh, look at that. It's getting prettier outside. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Anybody that puts up Christmas lights in the Pacific Northwest always hopes that this happens at least once because just the reflection of all the lights off the snow is just so awesome. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. We're venturing out into the snow. Woo! <laughs> oh, she slid a little bit right there. This is awesome. Hi beams! Whoa! Ah, look at the snow! Look at it! Gotta get them snow plows out. The road's not covered, but uh, we need to drive around and pretend to plow something. Just let everybody know that we're out here. So I've had a chance to to do a little bit of screwing around, and I have to say that the ABS brakes work, the four-wheel drive works. I don't know when it's in four-wheel drive. I actually don't like it. I mean, I've got so much control it gives me a false sense of security. Unlike my old truck to where, you know, I knew when it was gonna slide and I could take care of it. I don't know. I don't know if I like this or not. But like I said, it's just a false sense of security. I don't know if I'm gonna be okay or if I'm not gonna be okay. I mean, obviously play it safe, take it easy, but I don't know, I don't know. But it handles great, that's what concerns me. Are you ready to go see some snow? It's gonna be like the last cool clip of the day. Are you ready? Let me get set up first. I have to go out there first. Just wait.
Hopefully we're okay. She just knocked the battery out of the camera. <laughs> get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Snow! <laughs> Alrighty, so I have faked it really good for the whole day. Um, it is uh, 9 o'clock and I'm going to do COC and go to bed because I'm dying. And I don't need to do COC from yesterday because I'm not sure if you guys noticed or not. But I did go through and comment on everybody's comment via text yesterday. So, yay for that. I'm thinking about doing that tonight. Maybe I'll make it through this. Maybe I won't. Um, cap zone 2. Juan. Um, okay. Uh, Baldy Jack, first like. I just realized it's nearly a four-minute vlog. Get pretty, Troy. I'm having mucus problems. P.S. Edit that typo. I meant get well, Troy. Well, thank you. I mean, getting well also means getting prettier, right? Jolson, I still win. Uh, and also get better or I will be mad. Well, yeah, me too. Of course, I want to get better. Uh, Jason Matthews, get to feeling better, my friend. Thank you very much. Phoenix Fire 71 please get better. Take care of yourself. Trying to, thank you. Tarkus head just loved Buffy's head tilts while listening to the cats feel better soon. I know her expressions is just so funny and thank you. Hold on cough time. Jason Christopher said a bunch of stuff but what I'm going to be able to read is P.S. Hearing Phoenix say I love you is awesome. You're a good dad bro and a good person. Headbutt. Yeah just be careful because I have a headache. So thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it Jason. And also Jason McDougall, get better Troy, I have a problem with my Jeep Cherokee, it's a 1995 model with an inline 6 engine, um, I read the rest of this. Make sure you're getting vacuum to the heater control valve. Make sure you can manually activate the heater control valve and feel heat, and remember, coolant circulates through the heater core as long as that vent or that valve is open before it circulates through the radiator or the radiator hoses, remember that. Ramp tall. Um, I think this is the shortest daily vlog I've seen Troy do. No, there have been shorter ones. And final comment of the night, Emerald Gypsy Heart. We got snow here in Centralia, about three to three and a half inches. Um, you know something? We got snow here too. Um, I, I mean, we have, I think we have about three inches. I just went out a little while ago and I knocked the snow off the carport because plastic can only take so much weight. So... Um, and I knocked it off the airblown inflatables too. So, happy haunting guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go retire now. <coughs> See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Um, but while you're awake, yeah, we're y'all well. Um, but while you're awake.